next question is about campaign ads. This question comes from my colleague Richard Rogers at WRDW in Augusta. Take a listen. Good evening. I think it's safe to say people have been hammered by negative ads in this race. First of all, why did you feel the need to go negative? And would you like to set the record straight on anything that might be a false claim in those ads? Mr. Harrison, first to you. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you for it. Well, listen, I, I haven't gone negative. I've just been t uh, informing people and educating people about Senator Graham's record. Uh, now, in terms of negative and not true, uh, Senator Graham is running something right now that talks about me working for a company that foreclosed on folks in Katrina and implies that I actually did that. Well, first of all, when Hurricane Katrina hit was 2005, I was working for Congressman Jim Clyburn. I worked for Mr. Clyburn until the end of 2008. In 2006, I led the delegation. I put together a delegation of members of Congress to actually go down to New Orleans and, and to Mississippi in order to work to rebuild those areas because the Bush administration had failed to properly uh, help the rebuilding effort. And that was part of the agenda that Jim Clyburn and others had in order to, to get the majority back in, in 2006 election. Uh, and then, you know, as someone who personally has been homeless for a while, I, I took personal offense to this idea. Now, you know, Senator Graham wants to talk about foreclosures. We can talk about how he voted for the guy who's called the king of foreclosures, and that's Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin, who foreclosed on 17,000 homes over the course of a five-year period. Senator Graham. Yeah, Richard, your uh, question was about uh, ads and money. Let's talk about money and politics. Where the hell is all this money coming from? What is it about South Carolina that's attracted almost $100 million into uh, Jamie Harrison, Mr. Harrison's coffers. They hate me. This is not about Mr. Harrison. This is about liberals hating my guts because I stood up for Kavanaugh when they tried to destroy his life. This is about me helping Donald Trump. The only good Republican is one that tries to undercut Trump. I lost to President Trump when I ran for president. If you don't remember me running for president, it's not your fault. It didn't last that long. I accepted the fact that he won. I think he's done a good job as president. He's rebuilt the military. He's cut our taxes. He's getting trade deals, and he's securing the border. So the bottom line, the reason you're seeing all these ads is they're trying to take me out. They want the House. They want the Senate. They want Pelosi, Schumer, and Biden. They want Harrison in the Senate. They're going to change the Electoral College. They're going to do, with pri do away with private health care. Medicare for all takes your health care away from you. They're going to decriminalize coming into the country. They're going to give illegal immigrants free health care. That's what they say. They mean it. This is election is about taking me out because I you, stand sir. in their way.